Okay then, before I start today's PCSX2 PlayStation 2 emulator setup guide for a Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation setup guides like this one today. Helps my channel a great deal, plus you get notified every time I release a new guide, which is virtually every day. So we're looking at PCSX2 today and we're going to make this a fairly quick setup guide so we can get you up and running what we're going to do first is head over to the PCSX2 website very briefly, head over to the compatibility tab and just here you'll find out which games work fine with PCSX2 and not so fine. So primarily we're looking for games in the playable section or the perfect section. Playable section is pretty much 100% from the games I've tested for this emulator today. So what we're gonna do is actually download the emulator itself. We just go to the download tab and we're gonna download the nightly version of this. We're gonna download it from Windows and we're just gonna wait for this one to download. And once you've downloaded PCSX2, you'll likely download a zip folder or in my case an archive I use WinRAR. What I'm gonna do is just go into WinRAR, open with WinRAR, and we've got all these contents inside. And what I'm gonna do is actually create a new folder on my desktop. So if I right click on an empty space on my desktop, go to new folder, and I'm gonna call this folder PCSX2. And I'm gonna just drag and drop all of those contents inside of there, just like this. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna close down and we're also gonna delete that archive that we just downloaded. Let's head into the PCSX2 folder. And what I'm gonna do in here is just drag in my BIOS folder just so everything's nice and neat. Now, in my case, my BIOS files look like this. This is the BIOS files I'm gonna use and this is the BIOS files that's gonna get our PlayStation 2 games up and running. I've also got a games folder. I'm gonna drag and drop that into the PCSX2 folder too. And in my games folder, I have got three games and these are in .iso file extension, which works perfectly with this emulator. So let's actually open up PCSX2 for the first time. If I go to PCSX2-QT, and here we go. So straight away, we're into PCSX2. We're gonna select a language and I'm gonna leave this as system language default. And we also got a choice here to choose what type of theme color we want. So let's just go for a Scarlet Devil. And here we go, very nice. And we're also gonna make sure enable automatic updates is checked. If we go to next, Next part of this is going to ask you where your BIOS files are. So as you know, I popped them into my PCSX2 folder just a minute ago. So we need to go to Browse. And from here, I'm just going to left click on my BIOS folder. If I go to Select Folder, and here we go. It's now identified several of my BIOS files. Next up, we're going to choose one of these BIOS files. I'm going to select the USA, and I'm going to go to Next. And next up, we got support formats for dumps. So what this tells you is that these file extensions are accepted. And as we know, I've got ISO file extensions. What we're gonna do is add my games directory just here. So I'm gonna go to add, and I'm gonna left click on games, which has got my ISO games in, select folder, and I'm gonna press yes. We're gonna go to next. I'm now gonna connect to my Bluetooth Xbox controller. If I just go to my search bar and type in Bluetooth, other devices, I'm gonna go to add device, Bluetooth, and then just pair my Xbox controller with this. And here we go, Xbox wireless controller connecting, and done. Next up, under controller type, I'm gonna select DualShock 2, and automatic mapping, I'm gonna make sure this is on X input for my Xbox controller. Next up, I'm gonna press next. We're gonna to go to finish. And here we go, we are now inside PCSX2. So before we go any further, let's actually attempt to boot one of these games up. And what I'm gonna do is just double left click on GoldenEye. Then I can double left click on an empty space here just to make this into full screen. You're dead. You're 
Okay, if I press my escape button on that, we're gonna just bring up this menu. And from here, we can go to save state if we want, and we can save it to slot one. And if I press my escape button again, we're gonna come back to this menu. I can go to load state, and we're gonna select save slot one. Okay, so we're gonna go down to close game. And we're going to just go down to exit without saving because we just saved that. Okay, so as we can see, everything's working fine in the game. So next up, we're going to add something called Retro Achievements. Retro Achievements is a free little add-on we can use to make PlayStation 2 games a little bit better. So you can sign up for free with Retro Achievements. And what this does is just gives you little pop-ups every time you reach a certain part of a particular game. So if you're interested in Retro Achievements, just go to Settings once you've signed up with the website yourself. And if we go down to Achievements, just here under Account, it says Not Logged In. If we just go to Login, you can then enter username and passwords just here. And then log in and then you can enable Achievements at the top just here just by left clicking on that. Other things we can do is actually make games a lot better in PCSX2. In other words, we can enhance graphics. So to do this, we can do it per game if you like. So for example, I'm going to just right click on R type, go to properties. And from here, I'm going to go down to graphics. And from graphics, we can play about with video settings just here. So if we go to full screen mode, we can select between borderless full screen and global settings. Global settings pretty much means that it's going to apply to everything. It's just default settings. So we got that to play around with. We can also drop down to aspect ratio and we can actually put this to widescreen 16 by 9. Just be mindful that most PlayStation 2 games were designed for 4x3. I've actually covered a proper widescreen hack video on my channel. If you're interested in widescreen, then check that video out. I'll leave the link in my description for that one. We can also go down to bilinear filtering just here where we can avoid any major pixelation just by putting this to say bilinear smooth, which I'm gonna put on. If we go up to rendering, we can really make PlayStation 2 games look awesome by internal resolution. If I put this down to say 1080p three times native, for example, the game will display in 1080p. Just remember, if you've got a lower end computer, it might not look so good and it might lag a lot. We also got texture filtering just here. I'm gonna put this one onto bilinear forced and we've got trilinear filtering. I'm gonna put this one down to trilinear forced and anastrophic filtering. So I'm gonna put this one to two times for now. Texture replacement. Now this is where we can actually add HD custom texture packs. Again, just like widescreen hack video, I've also uploaded a separate video for this one. So do check that one out. And for now, I'm actually gonna go back to display and put aspect ratio to widescreen just so you can see what this is like but if you really want true widescreen then check out my separate video for that like i say links in the description from here i'm going to put anti-blur on i'm going to enable v-sync which is going to take away screen tear and if i go down to close and open up our type As we can see we now got 16 by 9 and the graphics and everything else looks really good and next up i'm going to just recommend going to tools go to cover downloader and from here you can just enter in a particular website and what we're going to do is use serial file names and go to start and that's going to then download us some cover images for our games we can't see them right now so we just need to left click just here and here's our games 
And that's it for today's Peace SX2 quick setup guide for Windows PC. So, like I said, let's start the video. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like. And also check out the widescreen hack video and also add in HD custom texture packs to PlayStation 2 games. I'll leave the links for both of those videos in my description. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.